Hi love, Zadie here. So today is another come up vlog. Um, so I'm just hanging out at home. It's Sunday, Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day or belated Mother's Day to everybody out there. Um, I hung out with my mom this morning because I had some stuff to do to, like later on. So that sounds kind of rude. Well, my mom was supposed to go out of town and she changed her mind last minute. So we just worked it out where it was better for both of us to hang out in the morning. But I am at home. You'll notice my place is a mess. What else is new? I wanted to show you this. Welcome to the Cuddle Hub. Alan's over there working on the photo booth, figuring some stuff out. So he's having fun. And then for me, I'm just in my room with a whole bunch of clothes. I actually just filmed a room tour. So either the room tour will be up before this or after this. And now I'm like, oh my God, should I refilm it? Because the lighting is so much better. Oh my God, the lighting is so much better. Anyway, so this is what I have here all of the clothes. Um, I have a few more that I need to take out, but these are basically what's left of my boutique. Um, I'm actually having a closeout sale 40% off right now. If you didn't know, I had, or have, I guess still, a boutique. Um, at first it was called Petite Confidant because I was supposed to be like your confidant that you could trust in for great clothing and I'm petite, but then everyone thought it was strictly petite. It wasn't, but if you saw it on me, and it looked good and you're also petite then you would know that it was complimentary for your body type as well um then i switched it to shop confidant because i didn't want that you know notion that if you were taller you couldn't wear the clothes and then finally i called it the confidant collection it was just kind of hard figuring out what to name it especially within the first year of having it um so i've only really had it for a year i guess you can say and i'm closing it down um i got a quite a bit of few well i guess i got some dms and like messages asking like why am i closing it and a few people saying that they were sad frankly i am sad too because i love finding cute clothes and seeing people wear them and then saying that they feel so good in them my overall like um style with the clothing was like feminine feminine delicate with a touch of sex appeal because i love things that are timeless that make you look really feminine um but just a little bit of hint of skin and things like that that make you stand out make you feel sexy but without feeling like you're trying too hard i also wanted to have stuff that you could wear for many seasons or even years to come i don't like super trendy stuff but of course i was buying wholesale so it was kind of hard to find stuff that was like exactly my style obviously everything that i got i would wear and i liked but in my mind i always had other ideas that to be able to create i would have to buy in big bulk would have to order you in advance would have to order probably from abroad to have manufactured and that's really not what i want to do um it takes a lot of time patience and money and i don't want to invest all of my time in that so basically i'm going into this long tangent to say like why am i closing the boutique aside from what i've mentioned so i'm closing my boutique because um i want to have more time to really concentrate on like one or two things as opposed to trying to do like everything under the sun like i have a full-time marketing job then i have my photo booth business and i have this youtube channel um i haven't worked on my blog in forever because I haven't had time to do that and then I have the boutique and it's like I have so many cool ideas for the boutique and if someone wants to open up a, a boutique I'm always help, happy to give you some of those ideas to maybe help you thrive in your business but I don't have the time to make all of those things that I just mentioned flourish so I felt like even though it's hard to have to be selective and be like okay you know let me put all of my effort into less things so I can make those things grow as opposed to just like doing baby steps towards like too many things you know so basically that's why i'm closing the boutique because i don't have the time to give it what i really wish i could give it to make it grow so anyway because of them closing it i'm having a closeout sale i actually had a lot of people buy like as soon as i announced it on instagram i had like a whole bunch of orders come through so i'm just looking through my inventory making sure i have everything i have to ship everything tomorrow monday to make sure people get it within the week and then from there i'll probably wait a last a few weeks and i'll close out the website um and then let the government know that i'm not doing business as that name anymore so anyway that's what i'm doing today these are some of the pieces some of them i need to take out this was a bell bardo everybody loves this it's like such a cute top um i have a few of these in stock still it's like really sexy and it goes with a lot of stuff um this one sold out i want to say if i'm not wrong this is a chouquette um it's so comfy and cute i actually showed this in one of the videos that i posted a while back and then this was like everyone's favorite the papillon um 
this one is just like so pretty it's like what i introduced as the first piece when i um when i decided i was going to open up the boutique and announce it so it is so freaking pretty i love it then i have the soleil jumpsuit it'll be kind of hard to show you but it has like bell bottom like pants and it's really pretty this one sold out like within the hour which is like um this two set uh poca poca set um i think another thing too was when i put sales like everyone bought clothes so maybe people just wanted me also to price things lower but it was kind of hard because since i am like a small business i cannot buy things in big quantities therefore i don't get the price cuts that some of the other retailers do so that's why I had to price things the way that I did. But I still think it was worth the price that I was charging just because it was like, you know, very pretty things that you cannot get just anywhere. Now, this is a lot of my like, basically my winter collection. I didn't promote this collection as much. I was already feeling overwhelmed. I didn't really want to be the model TMI and I didn't have time to source a model. Um, I kind of just wish I would have gone the influencer route, as lame as that sounds. I don't really like the word influencer, but yeah, there's like really pretty girls on Instagram that could have worn my clothes. And I have people that wear it beautifully, like one of them, I'll tag her below, developed by Monica. She wears my clothes so nicely. Um, Stephanie, I'll tag her. Karina is an awesome model. So I really wish I would have gotten them to wear the clothes for me because I didn't really sell my winter collection, to be honest. This... Um, I'll post on my Instagram this week, so follow me if you're not already, or just check out my Insta stories. Some of these outfits, like how they look on. This top is, like, classic. Um, I think you'll really like it. Um, this one is, like, you can't really see it. But, yeah, I'll post on my Insta story some of this stuff. These pants are cute for work. Another thing that I happened that was, like, kind of annoying during my winter collection was that, like, the manufacturer that I ordered the clothes from was supposed to send me six units of everything and they only send it, sent me three units of everything. So I actually ended up paying double the price for the items because I didn't get the other part. Something that people may not know, when you're in like the wholesale business and you're buying clothes, if you need to return something or get reimbursed, like you need to return something like because it wasn't good quality, you didn't like it or you just didn't receive it, the manufacturer will not give you your money back. What they do is give you a credit, which is kind of like disheartening because if you're already having an issue with that vendor what makes you want to buy from them again like then you spend more money because you're using your credit and then something could go wrong again so you just keep accumulating these credits that you're not really going to use so that's something that's kind of like tough um about when it comes to sourcing clothing but overall it can be a really good business if you are looking to get into it um personally i would recommend opening up a shopify store that's what i used um, it's very easy, it gives you analytics, um, you can look at your sales by week, month, quarter, year, so that it's easy to report your taxes and just look at your revenue overall, so I really like that. It's also easily integrated with like, you can add discount codes, um, your shipping is integrated so you get small discounts from like UPS or even USPS, so it's a really nice thing. Um, as far as like learnings about having my own boutique, um, I think I could have grown it way more because it's really interesting to kind of like look at the customer behavior, if you will. You can play with like what kind of promotions people bite back on, when is the best time to put the promotions, what products they're liking, you know, like do they like two-piece two sets more, do they like shirts more. Personally, I found the people that bought for me really liked buying shirts in two pieces because two pieces are more sexy and unique and then shirts are versatile. I also noticed that when I posted an outfit, it obviously sold a lot more than if I had, like, somebody else post it. Because, mainly because people that are buying from me is because they know me, so they're relating to me. So it's um, interesting, like, how people can have, like, a relationship with you and want to buy from you because of that reason. Not because, like, anything looks particularly better on me, just because they know me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the other learnings that I had is that... It's really cool to be able to um, have your own business because you can make money <laughs> while you're at home, but you just have to be organized to make sure that you're updating your inventory, that you're sending it out in an appropriate amount of time. Of course, I've had a few times where people would want to return that, like, return stuff, and that would kind of suck, but it's just part of the industry. But overall, if you like sourcing clothes um, and you're going to be patient, with growing and like investigating how to like do 
digital ads and stuff like that, I think you could have a great um, business idea, oh, like a business with clothing sales. Anyway, so, <laughs> ah, I talk too much. So that's basically what's happening here. Um, Alan sent me a text on Friday when I officially announced that I was going to close a boutique, which I didn't mention the, I'm having a code. 40% off, the code is thank you, thank with the letter U, like Ariana, thank you next. But anyway, I didn't mean to like rude like thank you next, but just like thank you. Um, Alan texted me saying like that he's sad that I'm closing the store and I am sad because I'm going to miss the aspect of like people enjoying something that I have to offer. Like it's really nice when you see people enjoying what you have, like you know that they are using this product for like something that is like a special event or something that makes them feel really good about themselves, but I think it'll be good to be able to transfer that energy into something else that is also going to bring, bring that kind of emotion to someone, you know, like my photo booth and things that can branch out of that industry. So I think I'll still be fulfilled, you know, um, as far as my Instagram for my boutique, it's um, right now the Confidant Collection, but I'm going to update it because there's something else I want to do with it and I'll share with you. If you know me, I feel like it's kind of common. You're going to be like, duh, she would do that when i actually launch it but i'm not gonna launch it at least for another month because i have to work it out so that's what's happening with that um the website will just be brought down <sighs> and whatever clothes i don't sell i'm gonna give to women in mexico um just so that they can have them as gifts so buy whatever you like if it doesn't sell it's going to mexico Hopefully I still have you here because this is a very long video, but I think that's enough for today. I just wanted to explain a little bit about the boutique. Um, thank you so much for supporting my store. It really meant a lot. Like when I first launched it to have so many people like support me and buy from me and like you didn't have to do that and you still did. So if you did, thank you so much. Like I truly enjoyed seeing you wear the pieces. Like it was so awesome. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you have any questions on opening up a boutique, just leave me a comment down below or send me a DM. I can always make a video answering your questions or I could always um, reply to you directly, of course. I'm happy to do that. If you are looking for any resources for opening up a boutique, there are two channels that I would really recommend, which are Ali Schultz. She has an online boutique and several like brick and mortar stores. And then um, also Gia Monet's channel. So that her name is actually Jackie, but her store is called Gia Monet and she talks a lot about it topics how to start a boutique and things like that that other people don't touch on so those are really good channels i would really recommend them that's what i would watch for inspiration and information when i was going to start my boutique so anyway um i hope you have a great day thank you for watching stay positive and bisous bye